Hello everyone, welcome to the HTTP enumeration section where we're going to be covering how to perform HTTP enumeration with Nmap as more specifically using the Nmap scripting engine and the various scripts that come prepackaged with Nmap. Now, uh, we're going to have multiple videos uh, that will cover HTTP enumeration. That's because of the uh, extreme, um, you know, variability that you have in terms of the Nmap scripts uh, that are specific to HTTP that are available. So, for example, if I list out all the Nmap scripts available uh, within the user share Nmap scripts directory that are targeted towards HTTP, right? So, I'll just pipe this and I will say grep and we'll use the expression HTTP and uh, we'll just display them. So right off the bat, you can see we have plenty of Nmap scripts uh, that you know are targeted towards HTTP. And uh, the, the, the immediate thing you'll be able to tell here is they all perform something different. And that's primarily why we're gonna have multiple videos. Now, we're not gonna be covering how to use all of the scripts. We're gonna be covering how to use the most important scripts in regards to how much information you can actually get out of your target using this script. So again, we're primarily gonna be focused on the enumeration section, right? Or the enumeration aspect where we're trying to enumerate information from the target. We're really not trying to exploit it or do anything like brute forcing and stuff like that. And of course you can experiment with these scripts. But again, if you just browse through the directory and list all the HTTP scripts here, you can see they're primarily nuanced or they're gonna be nuanced based on the target you're dealing with and the web technology that you're dealing with. So for example, we have a script here that is targeted towards Adobe called Fusion, right? Which is again, uh, is only going to work on uh, on systems that have uh, the cold fusion um, that have cold fusion running you then have uh, an http apache ne negotiation script again which will actually uh, will perform a scan and will actually perform the ne ne the negotiation with apache uh, you then have um, let's see we have cold fusion again um, we have then we have drupal we have all the various cms scripts so we have drupal I believe we also have some Joomla scripts. We have um, uh, HTTP iCloud, find my phone scripts. Um, let's see, uh, what else do we have here? A few more important ones. We have a TP-Link directory traversal script, very helpful uh, for older routers, older TP-Link routers that were actually susceptible to this particular vulnerability that still haven't been patched, uh, allow you to actually navigate the, the, the actual directory. I believe it runs Apache or some uh, modified version of Apache. Um, you then have all your various uh, vulnerability scanning scripts that are sorted out based on their CVEs, which is very helpful. So if you are dealing with a target that is potentially vulnerable and you're aware of the CVE uh, code that is you know related to that particular vulnerability, you can perform the scan to test and see if the the target is vulnerable to that particular vulnerability or is vulnerable to that uh, to that particular exploit. Um, you then, as I said, you have important scripts like HTTP WAF detect, which detects a firewall. HTTP WAF fingerprint, which detects what web application firewall is running, et cetera, et cetera. Now this video, we're, we, we're gonna be starting off with the essentials, right? So let's get started with understanding what HTTP methods are currently uh, operational or are running on the server or are activated on the server. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, I just saw all of these really cool scripts. Why are we taking a look at the HTTP, uh, the HTTP method scripts? Now, HTTP methods, uh, if you're not familiar with HTTP already, uh, HTTP methods essentially deal uh, or are used to, uh, again, denote certain bits of functionality on the server. So for example, we have the put uh, HTTP header, we have uh, the delete HTTP header, we had uh, post, which allows us you know, to, to, to send data, so on and so forth, get actually gets a request, so on and so forth. You, you should be already familiar with this. Uh, but the important thing is to understand which one of these methods are running on the web server. And then given the results of that, um, and or given the response, we're able to then understand, uh, if, for example, if we have the put uh, HTTP method enabled, that means, you know, we can modify files. If we have the delete HTTP method, then, you know, again, we can, we can essentially modify files, delete files, access files, potentially, uh, access, uh, you know, uh, certain directories that have directory listing enabled, so on and so forth. So uh, we're going to perform a simple scan here. And we're going to say nmap and we'll say we don't want to perform a ping, sorry, that is pn. We'll perform some service version detection. We're targeting port 80. We'll use t4, the timing template t4. And we'll say script HTTP uh, methods, right? And we want to pass on some script arguments. So we say script args 
and that is going to be HTTP uh, methods dot test all and this is going to ensure we test all the potential methods that are currently available and we'll say nmap nmap dot scan me dot org right we're going to use that same target and I'm going to hit enter now and we're just going to let that scan complete All right, so the scan is complete and uh, you can see first of all we get these uh, we, we actually get the banner here so it, you know we're running apache which we should already know um, and immediately for the http methods we can see we have get head post and options now options of course is the the is the method that allows us to actually enumerate uh, info all, all the other information like what other methods are running so uh, on this particular web server you can see we pretty much have a standard setup where you know we can uh, we can we can we can perform requests or we can request uh, we, we can actually request for the various web pages on 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 the server and then of course we have the ability to send data but uh, in terms of directory listing you can see we don't have put or um we don't have the put method or the delete method which means we we pretty much don't have anything interesting regarding uh, functionality and whether or not we can actually start modifying files on the web server. So that is how to use the HTTP methods script. Now, of course, we're going to be taking a look at a few uh, more interesting scripts that will, again, shed light on various types of vulnerabilities and, uh, again, will allow you to gather a, a whole lot more information from your target uh, based on what it's running exactly. And we'll take a look at a few targets. So that's going to be it for this video. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.